The story of Jesus' birth began with a visit by the angel Gabriel to the village of Nazareth to a virgin engaged to be married to a man 27 generations removed from his descendant, King David. His name was Joseph, and the virgin's name was Mary. Upon entering, the angel greeted Mary, saying, Good morning. You're beautiful with God's beauty, beautiful inside and out. God be with you. Mary was thoroughly shaken, wondering what was behind a greeting like that. But the angel assured her, saying, Mary, you have nothing to fear. God has a surprise for you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son and call him Jesus. He will be great, be called Son of the Highest. Mary said to the angel, But how? I've never slept with a man. Gabriel replied, The Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the highest hover over you. Therefore, the child you bring to birth will be called Holy, Son of God. And Mary said, Yes, I'm the Lord's maid, ready to serve. Let it be with me, just as you say. Then the angel left her. Before Mary and Joseph married, Joseph discovered that, she, that Mary was pregnant. He knew that the child could not be his. He was very sad, but also a very noble man, and decided he would break off their engagement in such a way that Mary would not be disgraced. While Joseph was trying to figure a way out, he had a dream. In his dream, God's angel spoke, Joseph, son of David, don't hesitate to get married. Mary's pregnancy is spirit conceived. God's Holy Spirit has made her pregnant. She will give birth to a son, and when she does, you, Joseph, will name him Jesus, God saves, because he will save his people from their sins. This would fulfill the words of the prophet who said, watch for this, a virgin will get pregnant and bear a son. They will name him Emmanuel, which is Hebrew, for God is with us. Then Joseph woke up. He did exactly what God's angel commanded in the dream. When it was close to time for Mary to deliver her baby, Caesar Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the empire. Everyone had to travel to his own ancestral hometown to be counted. So Joseph took Mary and went from the Galilean town of Nazareth up to Bethlehem of Judea, David's town, for the census. As a descendant of David, he had to go there. Many others also went to Bethlehem. So the town was very busy. Joseph had a very hard time finding a room for Mary and himself. When Mary said it was time for the baby to be born, an innkeeper allowed them to use her stable since she had no room for them at the inn. Mary gave birth to a son, her firstborn. She wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger. There were sheep herders camping in the area. As night fell, they sat down to watch over the sheep. Suddenly, God's angel stood among them and God's glory blazed around them. They were terrified. The angel said, don't be afraid. I come to tell you good news that is meant for everyone. A savior has been born in David's town, a savior who is Messiah and master. This is what you should look for, a baby wrapped in a blanket and lying in a manger. And then the angel was joined by an angelic choir singing God's praises, glory to God in the highest and peace to all men and women on earth. As the angels withdrew into heaven, the shepherds talked it over. Let's go over to Bethlehem as fast as we can and see for ourselves what God has revealed to us. Then they left their flocks, running to find the baby the angels had proclaimed as the Messiah. The shepherds found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. Seeing was believing, and they told everyone they met what the angels had said about the, the child. All who heard the shepherds were impressed. Mary kept all these things deep within and held them dear deep within her heart. 
After Jesus was born, a band of scholars arrived in Jerusalem from the east. They asked around, where can we find and pay homage to the, the newborn king of the Jews? We observed a star in the eastern sky that signaled his birth. We're on a pilgrim, pilgrimage to worship him. Herod, hearing about their inquiry, arranged a secret meeting with the scholars of the east. He pretended to want to also worship the new king, secretly planning to have the baby killed. He told the wise men to leave no stone unturned in finding the baby and to let him know when he was found so Herod could join them. The wise men left for Bethlehem, following the same star that had appeared in the eastern sky, and led them on until it hovered over the place of the child. They could hardly contain themselves. They were in the right place. They had arrived at the right time. They entered the stable and saw the child in the arms of Mary, his mother. Overcome, they kneeled and worshiped him. They opened their luggage and presented gifts of gold, myrrh, and frankincense. In a dream, they were warned not to report back to Herod. So they worked out another route, leaving without being seen, and returned to their own country. This is the story of the greatest gift of all, the gift God gave us that first Christmas, the gift of his son, Jesus. We thank you for joining us for our Christmas Silhouettes presentation, and we pray that your Christmas will be blessed with the hope, peace, joy, and love that come from knowing Jesus.